Despite depictions in folklore and film and TV representations, dire wolves were no bigger than the largest of today's modern gray wolves. They lived during the Pleistocene and into the Holocene, up to 9,500 years ago. They were a common sight across the Americas and possibly East Asia, where a single fossil record has been found. They occupied a huge range of habitats, including the plains, grasslands, and forested mountain areas of North America, the arid savanna of South America, and the steppes of Eastern Asia. They preyed mostly on the mega herbivores of the time. Although they were morphologically very similar to today's gray wolves, they had a noticeably stronger bite force and longer canines. This adaptation allowed them to hunt down large animals such as mastodons, ground sloths, bison, and camels. Hunting in packs gave them the advantage of taking down larger prey. In North America, dire wolves likely competed with gray wolves, American lions, giant short-faced bears, cougars, and coyotes for the same prey. But if dire wolves were to have existed during the Mesozoic era, then they would have competed with a multitude of different predator species and would have been preying on very different animals. But what was the Mesozoic era like? And how was it different from the Pleistocene? The Mesozoic era began about 252 million years ago and ended 66 million years ago. It can be divided into the Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous periods and was known as the time of the dinosaurs. The Earth was going through a great deal of geological change during this time. Global temperatures were generally 10 degrees Celsius hotter than they are today, with little variation in temperature between the poles and the equator. Before the breakup of the supercontinent Gondwana, the landmass was very arid. It was a harsh place to live. As the great landmass began to break apart during the Middle Jurassic, the humidity rose and more land became surrounded by seas. There was a great deal of volcanic activity, and plant life differed from today. There was no grass and no flowering plants until the Cretaceous period. The dominant plant life was ferns, conifers, and cycads. So, could dire wolves have survived in the Mesozoic? If dire wolves had lived 250 million years ago, they would have been the only mammal of their size to do so. Small shrew-like mammals emerged during the Mesozoic, but the dominance of reptiles kept the mammals from advancing and evolving into the dominant life forms that exist today. Dire wolves were adapted to much cooler conditions. The Pleistocene in which they thrived was known for its repeated glacial and interglacial cycles. During peak glaciation, much of North America was covered by an ice sheet, and the sea levels receded so much that North America and Asia were connected by the Bering Land Bridge. Like modern wolves, their thick fur would have kept them warm in the harshest of conditions. It seems they would have struggled in the hot climate of the Mesozoic, but perhaps they would have adapted to the hotter conditions. Many animals undergo physical changes seasonally to survive changes in environmental conditions, and evolution is driven by environmental pressures. If dire wolves were to have existed 200 million years ago, then they may have looked different from today. They may have lost their long, shaggy coats to increase heat loss and prevent overheating. They may have shed their guard hairs, which can grow to 4 inches, 10 centimeters long on modern gray wolves. These especially long and waterproof hairs protect modern-day wolves from the harsh and freezing conditions in which they live today. Their ears, which are currently small and rounded to prevent heat loss, may grow to increase hearing capacity as well as to help lose heat during hotter times. Their feet may evolve to become smaller too, as they are currently wide in modern-day wolves to help them walk and run through deep snow. Their typical fur color of gray and white may have changed to merge with the landscape of the Mesozoic. With little vegetation, other than ferns and tall fir trees, having a gray or white coat may stand out, making them a prime target for predators and reducing their ability to stalk prey without detection. Their coats may become dark all over, but it's not just the climate and habitat that the dire wolves would have to contend with if they were around during the Mesozoic. Dire wolves would have to learn that they were not at the top of the food chain during the time of the dinosaurs. As a wolf-sized animal, they could be considered small amongst the giants of the reptiles. They may have even been considered too small for the likes of a hungry T. rex or Spinosaurus. 
Spinosaurus, which was the longest terrestrial carnivorous dinosaur to have lived, was a generalist opportunistic predator that preferred to eat fish. But the fish this dinosaur hunted were enormous. They preyed upon Masonia, a fish that grew to more than 5 meters or 16 feet long. Instead, dire wolves may have fallen prey to smaller predatory dinosaurs, like velociraptors, but dire wolves would have had some advantages on their side, which may have enabled them to overcome the predator-rich landscape of the Mesozoic. By living in packs, they would have safety in numbers. Not only that, but modern-day wolves, and therefore likely dire wolves, are fast runners. Their top speed is 45 miles per hour. Velociraptors were thought to run at 25 miles per hour, possibly making it to 45 miles per hour in a flat-out sprint. Velociraptors were considered one of the fastest dinosaurs to have lived, so wolves would have had speed on their side, not only in evading predators, but also when catching prey. Dire wolves living during the Mesozoic could evolve longer legs to improve their running speed and endurance. Modern wolves living in the Arctic Circle have shorter legs to conserve body heat compared to their more southerly counterparts. Physical differences like these are a consequence of the environment the organism finds itself in. During the Pleistocene, dire wolves would have likely defended their kills from other hungry meat-eaters. Feeding in large packs would have enabled them to defend their carcasses from short-faced bears, Smilodon, American lions, and other wolves. The dire wolves may have evolved to live in larger pack sizes if they existed during the Mesozoic. Not only would this allow them to take down larger prey, but it would have protected them against predators. Modern-day gray wolves live in packs between 6 and 24 individuals, sometimes reaching sizes of up to 30. During the Mesozoic, dire wolf behavior may have changed so that they always had a few members of the pack on guard, whilst the others slept or ate. Today, a guard wolf will take on this duty, keeping watch from a rock or high point whilst the others rest. They then sound the alarm if an intruder comes near. With the ability to take down animals as large as mastodons and giant ground sloths, the dire wolves would have had plenty to eat during the Mesozoic. Not all dinosaurs were enormous. There were plenty of smaller herbivorous dinosaurs, like the sheep-sized Protoceratops or the newly discovered cow-sized Hadrosaur from Mongolia. Even the young of some of the larger dinosaurs like the Brachiosaurus and Diplodocus may have been considered prey for the dire wolves. Of course, some potential prey species could make for a formidable opponent, like the heavily armored Ankylosaurus with its clubbed tail, or three-horned Triceratops and spiny-tailed Stegosaurus. Perhaps dire wolves would steer clear of these dinosaurs as they would pose too much of a risk when hunting them. Being mammals, the dire wolves would have another advantage over the dinosaurs – intelligence. It is well known that mammals are, on average, more intelligent than reptiles of the same size. Also, working together as a pack with intricate social structures and bonds, dire wolves would have had a higher level of intelligence than any dinosaur of the time. This may have allowed them to outsmart dinosaurs either when hunting them or fleeing from them. It seems that there would be plenty of opportunities for dire wolves to have existed during the Mesozoic era. Perhaps they would have been more suited towards the end of the era. As the world was entering the Cretaceous period, the habitat may have been more favorable. Although plant matter makes up less than a modern wolf's diet, they do consume grass to help with digestion. This only emerged on the planet during the Cretaceous period. Although living during the time of the dinosaurs sounds like an impossible feat for any of the more modern species on our planet, it seems that the dire wolves may have had some advantages if they lived during that time. But what do you think? Could dire wolves survive the Mesozoic era? That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.